Hi friends, we are starting a face to face offline batch in Bangalore with SS Academy. That is for CA final financial reporting paper number one. I yeah, will be taking exactly two months from 1st November to 31st December. We will complete it. It is starting from 1st November 2022. Yes, and in Jayanagara branch of SS Academy, we have morning batch and evening batch will be at Seshadripuram SS Academy. Right. And if the student is missing because of any reasons, right, they are going to get a backup class. All right, we'll ensure that their things, I mean, they will study and complete. And from the face to face batch, you know the benefits out of it. We'll be completing the syllabus in time. You don't need to postpone and you don't need to compromise for your goals. See you in the class. Please share this information with your friends. That will help me and as well. Thank you. Next, for my books, that is an index made easy, our financial reporting made easy, and fast track summary book. Yes, you can uh, order in ravikanthmiriala.com or you can contact the given number for the books. Right. For your for your doubts, clarification, please join the Telegram group, Indias Discussion Group, RKM. These charts are from my book quick revision fast track chart to book on financial reporting which is available i mean you can order through from my website that is ravikanthmiriala.com or it is available in the market let's look at india s24 that is related party disclosures yeah see this is basically the disclosure standard yeah what is the related party it is very clearly defined and before that Disclosure. Where do you disclose? We'll disclose in the notes to financial statements. What do you disclose? That is related party transactions, related party balances, and relationships. We are going to disclose. What do you mean by related party transaction? Transaction is a transfer of. It is a transfer of resources, transfer of services, or transfer of obligations. Obligations, whether the price is paid or not. That means it may be happening at free of a cost still it is a related party transaction yeah when the relation when the transaction takes place that time there must be relation then it is a related party transaction yeah suppose the relation is there for three months within the year and afterwards the relation is seized so the within the three months whatever the transactions took place only those transactions are going to be disclosed if the transaction takes place after the three months after the three months then yes no that transactions are not going to be disclosed next re this related party disclosure is must even though the transaction takes place at market value that is arm's length price yeah if you can prove that it is happening at arm's length price then you can you can disclose the same that the transactions between the related parties took place at arm's length price okay but just because it is happening at arm's length price there is no exemption like that by showing this company cannot say no i don't want to disclose it so that is not applicable let's look at related party who is related party a related party can be individual related party can be an entity or unincorporated business first let us look at the small point which is individual an individual who can be related uh, individual in the sense individual or his close family member yeah will come to close family member the individual who has the control who has the control or joint control over the entity i mean who has more than 51 percent 50 percent is stake uh, i mean he himself or with the close family members together if he has more than 50 percentage also we'll say it is a control or joint control joint control is arising from the because of the agreement between the uh, parties okay if he has a joint control that is first point second point the individual or i mean individual and the gang i mean the group has significant influence over the entity then that individual is also related to me and the individual who is a key managerial personnel who is key managerial personnel we'll discuss right now okay key managerial personnel of the entity and key managerial personnel of the parent entity is also related party Right. who is close family member if you take one individual his father mother okay his brother sister right and wife right next wife and uh, the next point next person is domestic partner domestic partner is illegal relation 
and the individual spouse and domestic partner's children all three i mean uh, individual and spouse and individual and domestic partner their children and their dependents dependent one word is obviously very big as you know right see remember there is in this definition there is no concept of in law i mean to say only individual father no father in law i mean spouse father no no in law concept no father in law mother in law brother in law sister in law no son in law nothing unless until they are dependents otherwise they are not part and parcel of the definition of close family member and who is key managerial personnel key managerial personnel is not by the name designation okay it is from the work profile you should make it suppose i may call i may i may designate one person as a vice president of uh, vice president of operations or something for a division or for one subsidiary or something he may be key managerial personnel if he satisfies the following definition what do i say key managerial personnel is a person who has the authority and responsibility see he has authority as well as responsibility that means he is accountable accountable for planning direction control of the financing and operating decisions of the company directly or indirectly okay here i mean who has this responsibility authority for planning and controlling operations etc that means here they are not saying i mean a non executive director is not kmp no we are not going by executive or non executive i mean if a non executive director also satisfies any in this definition then we will call him as kmp then we will call him as kmp the right there is the uh, small definition that's it with respect to, to individual let's look into the entity or an unincorporated business yeah with respect i mean uh, for my entity another entity can be related because of i mean under these following circumstances first one is he is a member of the same group member of the same group group means what group means the parent and its subsidiaries yeah parent and subsidiaries means parent subsidiary sub subsidiary co subsidiary all these things see remember it is only subsidiary that means where the parent has the control directly or indirectly that only will be part of the group right suppose the parent the group has any i mean in this group word we never include associate or joint venture remember associate or joint venture is not part and parcel of group right so the first part is a, a group member is going to be related party that's it second second one is investor and associates are related joint venture and venturer are related okay joint venture and joint venturers are related associate of the group member i mean uh, parent is their parent subsidiary is the subsidiary subsidiary associate yes this is associate to all the group members all the group members if you are if you are associate to one group one member of the group uh, then you are member for all i mean you are you are related to the all the group members joint venture of the member joint venture of the member of the group also is related in same fashion if it is associate a joint venture to one entity in the group then that associate a joint venture is related to entire group entire group ko related next point yeah next point is uh, co ventures co ventures okay what is that is co ventures are related parties co ventures are related parties means my company my, my company invested in a there is a venture venture one and in, in this is another venture we have invested venture one venture two now venture one venture two are going to be related remember co investors not related co associates not related co venturers not related co venturer means one joint venture is there a invested into this b invested into this c invested into this a b c are not going to be related unless until they have some other relation okay otherwise abc companies are not going to be related co venture are not related co venture is related co venture means that is the venture i mean these two ventures um, i mean there is a common venture then there is a common venture that is co venture okay yeah this is what also discussed yes next um, suppose if i say there is a holding company there is subsidiary company yeah is subsidiary company associate yes subsidiary company associate is associate even to the parent company right but subsidiary company associate associate has a associate has a subsidiary associate has a control over something else 
right then we can say our group has significant influence over the next group next group in a sense associate and subsidiary i will consider them as one because that is that is one small one more group we have significant influence over the group but associates associate no there we don't have any relation associates associate is not related associates subsidiary yes related why means associates subsidiary is nothing but that is one group no the both of them are going to be considered as one right next post employment benefit plan correct post employment benefit plan like gratuity trust provident fund trust and etc yes if my company is investing my company is contributing to that trust then that post employment benefit trust is a related party if the trust is if the trust is only preparing the financial statement that is that is only the reporting entity then who are all contributing all of them are going to be related parties all of them are going to be related parties right six and seven you are supposed to read it together yeah i have given it in simple fashion yeah there are two entities one is reporting entity then the other entity yeah these two are actually not directly related but they are getting related because of the one human in the middle okay the human what is the relationship between the human to reporting entity the human to other entity yeah remember one side it can be this side or this side one side there should be control or joint control one side there should be control or joint control the other side it can be control or joint control significant influence kmp of the entity kmp of the parent entity anything is fine but remember one side there must be control or joint control the other side they are related under any of the above sentences okay i mean they may be having control or joint control significant influence kmp of the entity or kmp of the parent entity then they are related party okay yeah related party is giving money to investment entity investment entity is in the sense our money they will be taking care taking care in the sense they will invest into different company shares and etc etc and they will uh, i mean they will run the show and they will make the money that investment entity investment management entity is related to our entity okay and the following people are specifically set by the standard are not related parties yeah i mean two entities cannot become related party because we have common common directors or common kmps i mean there is one kmp it is very difficult to, very impossible situation but it's okay if there is a common kmp but yes one individual just because of the common directorship in both the entities no he cannot make the two entities related next co venturers i already spoke co ventures are related co venturers are not related and the financing company and the trade unions public utilities government departments yes there is some economic dependency or some dependency is there but economic dependency does not amount to, to relationship right and if you you may be having single customer single supplier single agent single uh, lessor lessee franchisee correct na? no these are all here also there is some economic economic dependency may be there but economic dependency does not amount to, to does not amount to, to relationship yeah and what are you correct now i mean whenever there is a relation whenever whenever there is a relation and when the relation exists with the transaction takes place that transaction is supposed to be disclosed correct right if there is no transaction then there is no disclosure is required but but when the control exists i am controlled by i am controlled by some other company that means i have one parent company i have to show mandatorily mandatorily who is my parent company and who is my ultimate parent company whether or not there is a, a, there is a transaction during the year i say if i have a parent company and a parent company then i have to disclose my parent company name and if it is one more ultimate parent company is there our ultimate parent company information also i have to disclose it whether or not there is there is a transaction during the period right and one some more exemptions are given with respect to government government company means where the government has control or joint control or significant influence one government entity is transacting with another government entity which is controlled by same state government or central government then these transactions need not be disclosed need not be disclosed as related party transactions but light information should be provided that's all my dear if you feel this um, a small video is helpful please share it with your friends
थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच एंड विश यू द वेरी बेस्ट